Now, the 2.4 billion shillings MV Uhuru 2 vessel is set to start operations this May as part of efforts to operationalize the revamped Kisumu port. Internal Security and National Administration Principal Secretary Dr. Raymond Omolo says the vessel built by Kenyan Shipyard Limited uh, is near completion and will revolutionize port operations in the area. Construction of the 100-meter MV Uhuru 2 started in May 2021. The vessel has a capacity of carrying 22 wagons and an estimated capacity of 2 million liters of crude oil per trip. It is expected to augment MV Uhuru 1, which was constructed in 1966 in shipment of oil and other goods to Uganda and Tanzania through Lake Victoria. Dr. Molo says MV Uhuru 2 is part of the government's plan to revive maritime trade and promote blue economy activities in Lake Victoria. There's a ship that uh, has been built from scratch and the president will be back in May to actually launch it uh, and we expect uh, the other presidents from the region to, to participate in that. He says other programs in the pipeline include the revival of buyers in Siaya, Busia, Kisumu, Homa Bay and Migori counties and the construction of a ring road to connect the five counties. Most recently in the president's visit there are engagements and their commitments as well that have been made Still within, within the lake, there is a rehabilitation of the piers in Homa Bay County, that is in Kindu Bay, in Homa Bay, and in Beta. And all this would go a long way in uh, improving the, the, the state and uh, the activities that uh, we are having conversation on today. He made the remarks in Kisumu during the Lake Region Blue Economy Multi-Agency Collaboration Framework Meeting that targets to enhance synergy. We are uh, coming up with the tools, instruments that will guide uh, the harnessing of blue economy resources in the country. Right now we have a, a national uh, blue economy strategy which is at advanced stage that we are going to validate in the next one week that is going to bring synergy so that we have uh, all the key stakeholders. They urged county governments to encompass the blue economy in their county integrated development plans to ensure that the sector is mainstreamed. We commit to request the ministries and state departments concerned to consider including blue economy activities in their revised contracts. Done this way, agencies and county governments will have blue economy specific budget lines. It is these budget lines that the Lake Region Blue Economy Multi-Agency Technical Committee will put together into a monitoring and evaluation tool. I'm impressed by the work done in the aquaculture space. Uh, we need now to work on the water transport and safety that is quite critical for the development of the blue economy. For Prime Edition, I am Wycliffe Okage.